Namaste, my lovely kids. How are you all? Hope everyone is fine at home and studying also. My name is Rekha Kurekar. I'm your EVS teacher. And today we are going to start with the new topic that is living and non-living things. Yes, what you come, what, what comes in your mind when I say living and non-living things? Yes, there are see on this earth there are n number of things present there are many types of things are present like uh, big trees stone furniture then your clothes right your clothes then your mobile your tv fridge window door house these all are different types of things present around you but anytime you thought my how why why my house is not growing why i am growing but why my clothes are not growing right yes why my plant is growing yes why my plant is growing but my mobile is not growing my fridge is not growing my chair is not growing right so these there are some characteristics which we are going to learn in this chapter which differentiate these things into two types yes before that we should know what are we going to learn in this chapter and what are the objectives of the learning right so in this chapter we are going to learn about what are living and non-living things okay then classifying things around you as living and non-living things explain that living things grow and breathe describe the different movements exhibited by different animals name the parts of the body that help living things move state that living things need food and water describe how plants make their own food state that living things reproduce these are the learning objectives that we are going to learn yes now can you say this this is wood these are wood logs small baby big rock plants clothes, pencils, a big house, colorful shoes, fish and water. Now these are the these are not only the things present around you there are many other things some few examples I have given you. Now just think about these things. See some can grow this baby can grow but this Stone cannot grow, your shoes doesn't grow, your house doesn't grow, but fish is growing, your bottle is not growing, right? This plant is growing, this baby is growing. Yes, so there are some characteristics which we have to learn in this chapter. Yes, things can be divided into living things and non-living things i'll just repeat it things can be divided into living things and non-living things now what exactly is the living thing things that have life right the things that have life is called living things now life means what see we have a life we are now what exactly is the life i tell you we are breathing right we are growing we are eating food we are drinking water right to survive we have to do all these things and one day we are going to die also right but for that we are breathing we are eating we are growing we are producing new babies young ones right so these all are the characteristics of the living things 
Now, what are the examples of the living things? Tree. As I said, tree. Now, when you grow a small plant, it is very small. Now, uh, when you uh, when you give water to the plant, it grows into the tree. It grows into the big tree. That means it is growing. That means it needs water. Right? Now, it's in detail we are going to learn in the next part. Now, next example is animals. Again, animals are also growing. We human beings are also growing. Right? So, this is, these are the examples of living things. Now, what exactly are the non-living things? Things that do not have life is called non-living things. Very simple. These don't have life in them. Now, your chair. Now, your chair cannot talk. Your chair cannot breathe. Right? Your uh, books, they doesn't grow. Right? So, these doesn't have life. Now, what are the examples? Books that brush etc there are many things which do not have the characteristics of living things they do not grow they do not eat they do not talk they do not breathe and they do not reproduce right yes now what are exactly the characteristics of living things we know things are divided into two living things and non-living things so first we are going to study about the living things right now what there are some characteristics which makes these living things different from the non-living thing in this chapter we are going to learn about this in detail so what is which is the first characteristic Living things grow. As I said earlier, we all human beings are growing to a certain extent. Of growing means doesn't mean we are growing, growing, growing like this. We are growing to certain limit, right? Plants are growing, human beings are growing, and trees are growing, right? In details, we are going to learn about this later. This is the first characteristic. Second characteristic: living things. Breathe. Yes, we are taking taking in oxygen and taking out carbon dioxide. Plants also breathe, animals also breathe, and we human beings are also breathe. Right? Third, obviously, uh, anytime have you observed your chair is moving from one place to another automatically? No, it doesn't move. Right now? Yes. So living things can move. We as a human beings, we can move from one place to another. Animals can move from one place to another. Now plants can, uh, are plants moving from one place to another? Just think of this. Yes. Living things need food and water. Obviously for growing, for good health, we need food and water. Living things reproduce. As I said, we human beings give birth to a baby. Yes, then animals also give birth to a small baby like this, right? So living things reproduce. It details we are going to learn in the next video. Living things sense and respond. Yes, these living things have sense. Right? We know about the five senses. Right? Yes. So, these living things can sense and respond to the senses. These are all about the characteristics of the living things. Now, one by one, we are going to study about these characteristics in details in the next video. So, children, till that, just revise whatever we have taught and be ready for the next video. Thank you, everyone.